had a working group that basically laid out the design on September 17th, and now we're into the phase of how do we implement that, which means pulling together a real protocol, getting an IRB established, and opening up the opportunity for any American who wants to take part to sign up through a website, which we hope to have up and going in 2016. This is going to happen soon. We want to get this going in the right way. We sure don't want to have a stumble at the beginning. So we want to be sure everything is in place so that interested people can in fact sign up and they will have the kind of communication back to tell them what they need to do as far as where to go to get a blood sample obtained, what kind of questionnaires they need to fill out. They're going to be our partners. We want to treat them appropriately as full partners in this effort. This is not a paternalistic, the doctor knows best kind of protocol. We're all going to be in this together. It'll be quite a national adventure. We've never tried to do anything in the United States at this scale. How do we, in fact, engage with people? How do we give them information back that they're interested in? What do we do with information when we're not quite sure what it means anyway, which is going to be the case, certainly with some of the data that we collect. Well, starting anything in the current climate, uh, where budgets for biomedical research are pretty stressed, is a bold thing to try to do. I think in this instance, there's sufficient enthusiasm in the administration and the Congress to make this an add-on to what otherwise would have been available. This is not going to take money away from other kinds of research. But of course, we are here after all in October without a budget actually having been decided yet for the next year. So a lot will depend on the next couple of months. Can we in fact get NIH into a stable position to be able to launch this? Uh, we are hopeful, uh, but obviously we have a little bit of uh, time to pass here before we can be sure that we can get this going and off the ground. There's so much we don't know about what are the factors involved in health and disease. Our medical model tends to be studying people who have an illness. This is an opportunity to study a lot of people who don't. So one of the things I hope we'll learn out of this are what are the factors that actually allow people to stay healthy? What's resilience all about? We should learn a lot about that. I think we'll also learn as we have a million people with very thorough analysis of their genomes and other things, how are there people out there who actually have in their DNA a glitch of some sort that you might have thought would have some negative consequences and yet they seem to be doing okay. What does that teach us about the genome? There's a human knockout project that nature has already undertaken and we are now about to discover it. I think it's important to say that this is an American effort, but there are other cohort studies like this that are being done in other countries, the UK, uh, countries like Estonia, Korea, China. Our goal would very much to try to develop an international collaborative spirit here so that we can learn from each other as these projects go forward. Certainly that's NIH's intention.